To get started, um, welcome to the first ever Helsinki, Finland um, OpenShift Commons gathering. Um, if you don't know what OpenShift Commons is, by the end of my speech, you should. It is the community side of all things OpenShift. And um, my name is Diane Mueller. I'm the Director of Community Development. I've been with Red Hat for five years, so I've gotten to see the arc of OpenShift going from a Ruby on Rails, MongoDB, talking about gears and cartridges to Kubernetes and containers and now operators and all kinds of stuff. So um, it's been really a privilege to be part and to, part of this community and to have all of the Nordic folks come here today um, and share their stories and to, to meet more of you. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. So I'm going to just give a little brief interview in, in um, overview of where we are in terms of the community and the contributions that people are giving to it and where we're going um, with OpenShift Commons. And um, I'm just going to get right into it. Um, this is, if right following this event today, there's a, a day-long Red Hat forum. How many of you have been to a Red Hat forum before? A number of you. There was one in Stockholm last week. So lots of you have been to that. And when you go to those things, you see lots of amazing corporate slides. They have bigger budgets than I do, and they have wonderful graphics and stuff. And this is one of my favorite slides um, that they do. We talk about why um, Open, uh, OpenShift is the best choice for your organization or for your service provider or your hosting. And we talk about the code, and we talk about customers, and we talk about all the clouds that OpenShift runs on. Um, and we talk about how comprehensive our solution is. And we call it the four Cs. Um, and it's true. These, all these things are real. But I think one of the secret ingredients is the fifth C. It's the community. One of the reasons that um, I joined uh, the OpenShift team five years ago was because of um, the, the deep running um, ethos of open source contribution and collaboration that Red Hat has. And that is really shown true in the OpenShift project quite a bit and with the contributions from all of the different parts of our community. Um, one of the things is, you know, it's wonderful that the project is out there and the code is out there and it's open source and anyone can use it and it's got the right Apache license and all of that good stuff. But one of the things that we've really done with OpenShift is take it to another level, um, in my humble opinion, which is, should be the name of my blog, should be IMH, I, IMHO, or whatever it is, the yeah, abbreviation. But we really talk about, um, from an OpenShift perspective, how much we collaborate with other communities and how much collaboration and contribution comes from other communities into OpenShift. And we'll talk a little bit about how that collaboration gets done and how we are really um, trying to almost change the model of how open source projects work with each other and the new evolution, I think, that's coming um, in open source um, and in open source collaboration. And really what it's been able us, enabled us to do is to drive what we call continuous innovation. We talk about CI and CD, but I think of it as continuous innovation into our project and into our offering <coughs> that is OpenShift. And I, I can tell it's dry in here. I'm going to have a glass of water. So, um, so there's lots of conversations that go on in GitHub, and um, I, I like... Every year, GitHub does this wonderful state of the octoverse, or their GitHub numbers. And um, every year, OpenShift comes up in one of the many categories. And this year, it came in um, in one of the top 10 most, or they, it's always for the prior year. Um, Kubernetes and OpenShift origin were some of the most talked about things in all of GitHub in terms of issues and projects and comments and things like that. And um, I think that's really telling, because OpenShift is Kubernetes, right? It is based on, we upstream, um, we have a distribution of um, Kubernetes that is what OpenShift is and we're built on top of. So if you really combine those two, really the most talked about thing in the developers' uh, conversations that are going on out there is, is really is the stuff that we're doing with OpenShift and with Kubernetes. So, a little bit of news. How many of you have a sticker on that says origin? Yeah, you all have origins. 
We're going to replace those stickers today. And when you get your swag bag, at the bottom of the coffee cup is a new sticker, um, because we know everybody loves stickers. We have renamed OpenShift Origin to reflect the Kubernetes shift that we've done. Um, about three years ago, we pivoted. We made a big decision architecturally to go with the Kubernetes project as the underpinnings for OpenShift. Um, and we left behind sort of the, the MongoDB Ruby on Rails application and gears and cartridges, and we made the shift. We didn't do it with the name, um, and we really have had um, a lot of conversations and a lot of thought about this, and we've um, tried to make sure now with the rebranding of it, um, and we had a, if you look at the sticker, you'll see the panda is on it. That is um, one of the original logos that we had for for our OpenShift origin, and we've brought that back too. Because we really want to reflect on um, and make sure that the project is really clearly identified as Kubernetes. And this is really one of the, the efforts we're doing. So if you have um, bookmarked openshift.org, it will take you to a new website now called um, okd.io. So that's a little bit of news. How many of you actually had heard that? I'd written one blog post. I see, this is good. The word gets out. Um, this only happened about a month ago, and there is a blog. It ca happened with the um, 3.10 release. Um, so all of the information is there. The repo stayed exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about that. If you, if you wrote scripts or things that pulled stuff from OpenShift slash Origin, it's all in the same place. Um, so that stays um, nice and tight, and so if anything you were building will still there. When you, you think about um, how we build and how we deliver OpenShift, um, because it is a distribution of Kubernetes, it has you know more than a hundred different um, integrations. The folks from Black Duck are here. There's a number of other folks here who have written wonderful um, integrations. Microsoft and other folks um, have done some great work um, making OpenShift there. So there's lots of folks who are doing um, wonderful work with us, um, and so we like to talk about how um, we take all of that and upstream that into OKD, build that, and that is what powers OpenShift in both OpenShift, the container platform, which is the enterprise offering and dedicated and online, as well as a myriad of managed service providers who are out there today hosting OpenShift as well. So it's not just Red Hat that's using the bits. But when we talk about who is OpenShift, Often, um, if you're an open source community manager, if you work on a project, um, really what you're looking for and um, historically would be um, trying to get people to contribute to your project. So uh, if you were my manager uh, you know, 10 years ago and you were uh, trying to manage me as a community manager, I would get paid by how many contributors there were to my project. And so my whole job would be to try and get all of you by the end of today to commit to committing and making a pull request and doing adding code to my code base. But I would have that the entire model of open source has changed because of the fluid nature of services, because of the way we do integrations, the operators, and the, what, the collaboration that we do with the folks that are using our software, who are making pull requests and logging issues and helping us develop the project itself. So it's really sort of a two, two flows in and out into the um, OKD distribution. So this is kind of the way that we look at the world now. Instead of um, OpenShift origin, we're the OpenShift OKD stuff. And so what we've created in order to make that happen is um, something called OpenShift Commons. Um, it is, we have over, I think I, when I took this, it was 415 members. Um, these are different organizations, and these organizations have multiple players. I met the gentleman from Cybercom here today. He's the first time I've met somebody in person from Cybercom. Um, I, th I think someone came at, to Red Hat Summit um, at one point. But a lot of these folks are they are spread all over the world. Um, some of them are service providers, a lot of them are customers, and um, they're all collaborators and people who integrate and use the software and give feedback. So. It's a bit of a new com uh, community model because it incorporates everybody from across the ecosystem. It's not just about trying to get code contribution to the project. It's about getting your feedback, getting your stories, getting your input into the, the next releases. And it's also a communication channel. Um, and we talk a lot. Um, and we really try and promote what I call peer-to-peer -peer 
interactions, and you'll see some of that happening today. And so what I'd really like to see today is during the breaks and during the, the conversations and the AMA panels is that you ask the questions. You don't have to worry if they're not nice or you're asking, you know, you have feedback. We want to hear all of it. This is the community side of things. We're not trying to make everything look perfect. We have lots of things that we do to give you channels. We try and do a lot of this stuff virtually. We have a very active Slack channel, so if you're not on that yet, see me by the end of the day and we'll sign you up and get you on. We have lots of mailing lists. We have SIGs on all kinds of topics, from machine learning to operations to operators to OpenStack, and I think there's even an Azure Microsoft one floating around still in EDU uh, meets every month too. So there's and .gov. There's lots of stuff. I do um, at least three podcasts, video podcasts, um, briefings a week on all kinds of different topics, ranging. I'm going to keep talking about Azure Stack was last week's topic. Um, the next, coming, next, every release we do, when the 3.11 release comes out, we'll have a, an update from the PMs on OpenShift 3.11, but we'll also have a, a release update on Kubernetes when it comes out too. So we get a lot of the folks from the SIG leads um, talking. So there's a lot of different ways to get access to this information. All of it, including today, is recorded and it is um, up on YouTube, on, on YouTube RH OpenShift. Really easy to find. Um, I try not to talk too much. I know I'm talking a lot this morning, but I really like to give away the podium. So if there's a topic that you want to hear about or you want to talk about, let me know and I will give you the podium and we can share your story. Um, there's lots of um, easy ways to get this information at, at commons.openshift.org is the commons website. And um, it's really busy. This is just the past six days. We've had lots of different folks um, join. There's a form to join on commons.openshift.org. And they're from all different industries, from the medical, for the, uh, we just hosted down in Buenos Aires, a, a, a sister event to this one. Um, I didn't actually go because I don't speak Spanish. Um, and they had 300 folks show up from Colombia, Argentina, all over um, Latin America. Um, and it was great. And we got about 10 new members um, who shared their stories. And those will be up hopefully when I get off of today and we upload them into YouTube. But all of this information is available. It's public. It's open. And it's not, um, they're not sales pitches ever. They're really talking about how people journeyed from to became cloud uh, enabled or cloud native, their stories. Um, they, I try really hard to get them to tell their entire stack, so where they started um, uh, from what their legacy apps were, what they're doing now, and where they're going. And there's some really great content there, so you don't feel like you're alone. There's always somebody in your market sector trying to do this to, to talk to and connect with. Um, and it's pretty global. There's... Uh, Probably this is so out of date, this, these um, little things on the Google Calendar. I think I did this when we were at about 200 people, and I haven't had time to update the Google map. But um, we're in now over 55 countries, and um, we're, um, we're tracking really fast to be over 500 organization. But the side effect of all of this, of all this virtual and all this talking and sharing and storytelling um, is that the thing that we used to get measured on, the metrics on the contributions to um, the project, um, have been rising at an exponential rate. It's just been, you know, it, it's amazing and it's very gratifying to see, like, the number of organizations that are actually making pull requests and logging issues against um, the OpenShift project. Um, and it's, it's humbling sometimes when you see someone from CERN making a request and doing something. It's like you can't quite believe that someone there is actually using your project and, and adding stuff to it. It's really, it's really pretty amazing. Um, and, and, but really, for me, that's not the best part. The, really, the best part is about the collaboration that goes on um, right now, between the op the, a number of the OpenShift engineers and Red Hat engineers from you know all different parts of um, from Red Hat, and the contributions that they're making and the participation they're doing, and 
all different parts of、um, Kubernetes. I mean, and we're just looking at Kubernetes here, but there are so many red hatters working with other companies with co-opetition, co you know, competitors, and an open collaboration. And the Kubernetes、um, community has been one of the one most wonderful and engaging and open communities to work with. So, I'm not asking you actually to just contribute to OpenShift. I'm asking you、um, to share your, the stories that you share with OpenShift get shared with the entire Kubernetes community as well, and your contributions there are gratefully accepted. In the side projects from Kubernetes and Pro Prometheus and other ones, all of that for me shows the health and the vibrancy of the ecosystem that is OpenShift. So、um, I will not.、Um, Ask you directly to contribute to OpenShift today.、Um, I will just say thank you because you probably already are in a way that you don't realize it if you're contributing to any of these other projects. So this is really、um, what and what I was, I was mentioning a few of them, and I think there's a few few more since I made this slide. But there's in the CNCF, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, of which Red Hat and a number of you are members. There's a number of other projects, and、um, so there's a lot going on. Um, all of these projects、um, are part and parcel of what we use to make OpenShift and to deploy our stack. So there's、um, quite lots of places where you can contribute.、Um, and really, the other place, besides on the projects and into upstream stuff, is when you share your stories with each other and you share、um, your best practices and the lessons that you've learned. You're really helping your peers and helping move the conversation to the next level, and that's really、um, what I'm hoping we'll do today here.、Um, there's, you know, as I mentioned, there's a lot of upcoming gatherings.、Um, we just had the one in Buenos Aires. There's the one here today in Helsinki. We'll do another one. That's Um, there's some experiments going on a little bit with the gatherings. We do three big ones a year: the day before every KubeCon,、um, and the day before Red Hat Summit. And those usually have around, you know, five to seven hundred people at them, and they're really、um, pretty mind-bogglingly fun.、Um, but we're also trying to do some that are themed and regional, smaller ones like this one here today. So we're. Going to do a small version of a machine learning one. We have a very active. If you're interested in machine learning, OpenShift on machine learning、um, uh, special interest group that you can sign up if you go to commons.openshift.org. We also have a great,、um, very active .edu and .gov ones.、Um, and so we're, you know, as these topics come up,、um, we're trying to、um, create spaces like today for people to share their stories on specific topics. So. We're trying to balance out the big ones with some topic-specific ones and smaller regional ones, so that we make sure that、um, what we really are cognizant of is that being virtual is not enough. You have to have the face-to-face -face time and actually meet people and know, you know, you know, this is the gentleman for Cybercom. This is the person from Black Duck. This is the person from Arrow. This is the person from Microsoft.、Um, and so you get a face to do with, to talk to. Someone with and be able to reach out with them. So if you haven't already, this is my one sales pitch, and it's not much of one because it doesn't cost anything. Is、um, go to OpenShift、um, Commons, sign up today.、Um, if you're not already a member, if your organization already is a member and you're not on the mailing list or Slack, just fill in the form and we'll get you into the mailing list and the Slack and take a look at the different SIGs that are there. Um, because it's a whole new universe out there, and、um, there is this is really for us. It's about you, and you are what makes OpenShift、um, as successful as it is today. And it is really because of all of you that、um, we actually do this every every day, and we come and we we make this、um, happen. And we're really appreciative, and we want to make sure that we're talking about the things that you、um, want to hear about. So um, today, um, we know what you want to hear about is beer. And、um, so later today at five o'clock, we will be uncorking or unpopping、um, a special brew of OpenShift,、um, and hopefully we and I'm. I'm not going to even try and pronounce the name of the brewery. Mustang Veron Panimo, apparently very good.、Um, so that you, we can help you、uh, 
share your stories with each other, and during the breaks and at lunchtime, try not to sit with just your work colleagues that you came here. Sit with strangers and meet, introduce yourself. Really take advantage of this opportunity. Um, and there's a number of Red Hatters who are going to be talking today. Uh, my colleague Marek Jelen is up next, and he um, and a number of other Red Hatters are here to answer your questions, to be peppered with your feedback, um, and take those notes back and work on um, making OpenShift even better. So um, let's get started.